With the video here, we're going to quickly show you how to configure Active Directory Federation Service Authentication with Push Notification Login to your WebADM server. The way it works is that you need two additional pieces of software for your WebADM. The Push app itself on mobile, the OpenOTP token application, what we already have here, to RCDEV's ADFS plugin to be installed on your ADFS server. So there we go, we'll click open the ADFS plugin file and the installation wizard begins. We'll just zoom in just a little bit. Basically, the only thing you need to configure here is to tell the plugin at what URL to find your web editing server, running usually on port 8443. Uh, the rest of the path is open OTP always with the slash at the end. We'll just add in an optional welcome message to the user. Then we'll just click next until the installation is complete. As prompted, we'll need to restart our ADFS services to bring up our plugin. Now our ADFS plugin is installed. The final thing we need to do is to decide how we're going to use it. Who will be enforced to use the plugin and thereby the push notification login? That we can do in the ADFS server itself, in the available authentication policies section, where we now see the RC Devs Open OTP as an optional additional authentication. And we'll take that on, apply. Then we'll grab all domain admins. There, uh, why not all domain users as well? And finally apply. Technically, that should be it. I'm doubting even myself if that was again all, but yeah, it is. So let's just fire away and give it a shot. Login in with my administrator account. Then password and sign in. And we get our push notification login. Approve that and we're inside. Okay, now we see our test login message, but we're locked in nevertheless. Right, so that's it. There we configure push notification login to Active Directory Federation services and test it that it actually works. For all those already running WebADM, there's nothing more to it than the steps we showed here. As a final piece, okay, just perhaps to show that the login and the configuration we did was all real, let's zoom in a little bit to the authentication logs of our WebADM server to see the push notification login process that took place. But otherwise, that completes our quick tutorial. Thanks for watching.